Hey everyone, welcome back for day 10 of the 10 day yoga challenge with me, Erin Motz. I cannot believe this is the last day. I have loved doing this with you guys and for you guys, but we don't have any time for teary goodbyes. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll finish out strong. Starting at the top of your mat, just come to a comfortable seat. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just make sure you're even and balanced on both sides. I want you to pull both arms up. So think cactus, let <laughs> the palms face forward, elbows bend at 90 degrees. As you exhale, you're gonna cinch the waist in on both sides and twist to the left. So slowly pulling the belly in, keep both hips grounded and pull yourself over to the left. So only go as far as you can and maintain your breath. So if you pull so far to the left, that you excuse me, that you can't breathe anymore, back it off a little bit, you don't have to go that far over. So cinching everything in, exhale it over, and then continue to breathe normally, in and out through the nose, keep the shoulders relaxed. Slowly come back to the center, reset, you're gonna twist the other way. So exhale, pull the belly in, cinch the waist in on both sides, and twist it over to the right. Keep both hips down, keep the shoulders back away from the ears, Breathe. One more each way. Bring it back to the center, relax. Exhale, pull in and twist over to the left side. Breathing normally, naturally. Last one, pull it back to the middle, reset. Pull the belly in, cinch the waist in on both sides. So when I say cinch in, it means, okay, you're drawing the navel in, so you're flattening out the center, and then just kind of gently pulling the ribs away from the hips. So you kind of narrow everything. <laughs> Exhale over to the right, relax the shoulders. And come back to the center. Let the arms come down, flip over onto your back. Slowly come down. Bring the feet about hip width apart and bring them nice and close to the hips. So letting the upper body relax, push the hands down into the floor. So you're gonna come to a low bridge. So lifting the hips up, pull the lower belly down and really kick into the heels. So I do not want you to force the hips really high up here. You're just barely off the floor, maybe six inches or so, not very high at all. Keeping the hands down, the shoulders can tuck underneath you a little bit. You're gonna draw, you ready to feel goofy? You're gonna draw in a mat like a figure eight with the hips. So think an infinity sign. So you're gonna tilt the left hip up, come to the right, lift up, come to the left, lift up, come to the right, <laughs> lift up and left, lift up and keep going. So try making that circle, move really, really slowly, making that figure eight, left side down, right side up, left side down, Right side up, right side down, left side. And obviously if this is not enough work, you can make it a little bit higher, lifting your hips a little bit higher as you go. Go one more each way, down, and down. <laughs> it takes really immense concentration, right? And then as slow as you can, slowly take the hips back down. So rolling it back down one inch at a time. Stretch both legs out ahead of you. Stretch both arms out ahead of you. You're gonna dig the heels into the floor, flex, flex the feet, tuck the chin, slowly curl up. Inhale, pull the arms up overhead. Keep the heels digging down. Exhale, fold. So this is one of those things that you'll be able to do over and over again if you're not actually using the core to pull yourself up. So take your hands out in front of you, tuck the chin, control your way down. So the feet are gonna slide back, but don't let them come off the floor. Inhale, the arms up overhead. No momentum, use the core to pull yourself up. Hands come forward, tuck the chin. Inhale, straight up, and fold forward. Lengthen out. Inhale, lift up, and tuck the chin. Slowly control your way down. Slow as you can, slow as you can. Once you get a little shake, hold it. And lay it flat, inhale, the arms up. Exhale, curl in, no momentum. Exhale, come forward. 
Couple more. Back up to neutral. Everything is stacked. Tuck the chin. Slowly roll. Pull the belly down. Tuck the chin. Once you get a little shake, hold it. Hold. And take it down. Inhale, arms up. Last round. Exhale, curl in. Straighten out. Fold forward. Good. Lift the chest back up. Come all the way down. Tuck the chin. Bring the hands underneath you this time. So the palms are going to face down. You're going to push the hands into the mat and stretch both legs up overhead. So the hips are resting on the hands. Make sure the elbows are comfortable so you can bend them out at the sides. As you breathe out, take the left leg down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, right side down. Inhale, bring it up. And you're just alternating the legs. Find one neutral point to look at. Keep the lower belly pulled in. So as the leg lowers, don't let the lower back come off the floor. Keep everything really nice and flat. So the spine is down. <clears throat> You're not letting the upper body move. Just keeping everything else relaxed. So here, kind of the cool thing about the work that we're doing today is that you feel it differently than you would, let's say, a sit-up or something. So when you're doing sit-ups, the upper abdominals tend to fatigue very quickly, and then you have to stop much sooner than you would when you're working the whole core equally and evenly. So something like this, for example, we're working the lower abdominals by kind of stabilizing as the leg lowers, and the upper abdominals help stabilize the lower ones as well. So everything is firing more or less at once. Makes a bit of a difference. Take a few more each way. Let's do two more each way. Four, three, two, one. Feet up, come off the hands. Bend the knees so they're at 90 degrees over the hips and rock up to boat. So no momentum, pull yourself up. Again, if the hands need to come down, um, I think we did this one the other day, but the hands come down, the shoulders roll back, keep the chest lifted. Exhale, let the toes tap, pull them up. Right toes tap, pull them up, left, pull them up. Again, if you have the strength, arms can come out, right toes down, left toes down, right, left, right, left, right, a little quicker, left, right, right, keep the chest up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, hold it, hold it, pull the chest up a bit more. Whether the hands are up or they're down, see if you can straighten the legs. Pull the belly in, lift the chest. Exhale, slow as you can, take the feet down. Dig the heels in toward the mat. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, fold. Upper body is heavy. Inhale, lift the chest, take the hands out ahead of you, slowly roll it down. No momentum, keep the heels digging into the floor. They'll drag back, but don't let them come up. Little shake, hold it, and take it down. Inhale, the arms up. <clears throat> exhale, no momentum, take your time, slowly lift the chest, and exhale, fold. Come back up to neutral, arms come out ahead of you. Tuck the chin, slowly take it down. Little, little shake. Take it all the way back. Inhale, arms up, last round. Exhale, curl it in. Lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Good. <clears throat> take it back up. Just slowly lower. One more time, take it all the way down. Bring the hands down at the sides. Remember our bridge from the beginning? We're gonna revisit that. Take the feet in toward the hips. Plant the feet, plant the hands. Just gently tuck the shoulder blades underneath you. Kick into the heels, start to lift the hips up. Again, not going for height, you're just getting the hips off the floor so that you have some space to move around in. So right side first, dip the right, pick it up. Figure eights, dip the left, pick it up. Right, up, left, up. So each time you dip the hips, so let's say right hip down, you're pushing into the right heel to get it back up again. Push into left, get it up again, right, Left, one more each way, right, left. Come back to neutral, slow as you can, slowly take the back down. And inhale, pick both legs up. Over the hips, 
You can sit on the hands if that feels better. Let the elbows come out to the sides. Right leg first, take it down. Inhale up. Exhale left. Inhale up. Exhale right. Inhale it up and keep it going. Left, right. So each time the leg drops, draw the navel down toward the spine. Imagine keeping the front side of the body as flat as you can. Right, left. Four more, four, three, two, one. Pull the knees in toward the chest, Un come, the come off the hands. Hug the knees straight in, take a couple breaths. And you can let the eyes close. So let's start to slow it down a little bit. Keep the right knee tucked in towards you and stretch the left leg all the way out. So keep the hips level. Don't let the right hip hike up in toward the ribs. Keep everything neutral. And we did quite a bit, we relied anyway, a lot on the hips and the hip flexors. So keeping the shoulders back, go ahead and cross the right ankle over the left knee from here. Keep the right foot flexed and see if you can let that right hip drop open. So you're not doing a whole ton of work, it's just enough to let the front of the hip relax and soften. So you can keep the hands anywhere that's comfortable. You might feel this in the back of the hip on the right side as well, which is fine. But keep both sides of the lower back down. And take one more round of breath. And slowly pull the knees back in, uncross that right foot. Both knees into the chest, left side. Pulling the left knee in, stretch the right leg all the way out, flex the right heel. Pull the left knee in nice and close to you, but keep the left hip away from the ribs. And as you breathe out, go ahead and take the left ankle over the right knee. So it's above the knee, it's more on the thigh, just a couple inches above the joint. Flexing the left heel, let the knee drop open. And again, you might not feel anything super intense here, which is totally fine. You're just letting the hip relax, letting it release a bit. Hands can be anywhere. Take one more breath in. Now start to bend the right knee, uncross the left leg. Hug both knees in towards you one more time. So you may end up reaching around the knees with the elbows. If you can't, just hold on to them with the hands. Not wrong either way. And take a couple more inhales here, just keeping the upper body soft and the breath even. And you can linger here for as long as you like. And just whenever you're ready, slowly press up so that you're in a comfortable seat. Keeping the eyes closed, sit evenly on both hips. Let the shoulders relax back and down. And on your next breath in, pull both arms up overhead. And pressing the hands together, exhale them right down to the heart center. And let the eyes blink open. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me for the 10 day yoga challenge. I have so loved being here with you guys and spending the last 10 days with you. Um, make sure you let me know what you thought of the whole thing in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and keep checking back at erinmotz.com for the very next thing so you can be the first to know what comes next. I will see you guys very, very soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day.